In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add your first beat. When you install the sample content, there are four beats that are added. There's for sale, which you can see a price right here in the button. And when you click it, it opens an overlay window and you can see the license options. The person would select the license and click purchase and it gets added to the cart. There's a free beat download for those who wanna offer free beats. It opens the overlay window. There's a free download button and people click it and the file is downloaded. There's the no price option, which you can allow people to make an offer on the beat. So I'm going to click this button. I'm going to click make an offer and people can make an offer on a beat. And then there's a the sold option, which is for the people that have sold a beat, but they still want to showcase it in their beat store. So let's remove these sample beats and add your first beat. From the WordPress dashboard, I'm going to click beat store. And this is where all your beats will be. I'm not going to delete the beats. I'm going to hide them. I'm going to click this top checkbox. I'm going to click edit. I'm going to click apply. And for status, I'm going to change to draft. I'm going to click update. And now to add a new beat, I'm going to click add new. I'm going to give it a title. Where you see beat type, you want to select if it's for sale, if it's sold, if it's a free download, or if there's no price so people can make an offer. I'm going to select for sale. Next, you need to upload an audio preview. This is required. If you do not upload an audio preview that ends with a .mp3, the beat will not show up in the beat player. So where you see audio preview, I'm going to click upload. I'm going to drag a MP3 to the window. I'm going to click file URL. You can see it ends with a .mp3. This is required once again, or you're going to have issues. I'm going to click insert into post. You can see here it ends with .mp3. Scrolling down, you can add a BPM. Produced by, you can add a name. Time length, this is optional. You can add a highlight icon. There are three icons available. There's new, on sale, or popular. I'm going to select new. You can offer a preview download, which is something that some music producers offer a tagged MP3 for music artists to download. So they, the music artists could try to write to the song before they buy the beat. You can add a beat description. I'm going to paste in some text. So now I'm going to add in the beat pricing. If you only have one price and you would enter it here, if you have multiple license options, then you want to click enable variable pricing. And where you see option name, you want to enter in the license name and where you see price, you set the price for that license. So I'm going to add lease. I'm going to add premium and let's say this is 59.99 then I'm going to add exclusive and let's say this is $500 now under beat files is where you add the files that people download so first I want to upload the mp3 file that people will download I'm going to click upload file and I highly suggest that you put mp3 files in a zip file so I'm going to drag the untagged MP3 into the window. Then I'm going to click insert into beat where you see file name. I'm going to name it MP3. I'm going to add another file. I'm going to click upload a file and I'm going to drag in another file. We can say that this is the wave file. I'm going to click insert into beat in the file name input. I'm going to enter in wave. I'm going to add another file. Let's say that this is a contract and it's going to be a PDF file. I'm going to click upload a file. I'm gonna drag the PDF to the window. I'm gonna click insert into beat. Under file name, it could be named contract, it could be terms and conditions, you name it whatever you want. And I'm gonna add one more file, and we're gonna say that this is the tracked out files. I'm gonna click upload a file, and I'm gonna drag the file to the window. And so I just wanna point out that WordPress has issues uploading large files. There are some website restrictions, it depends on your website host. Um, please search the help website for the article on how to deal with larger file uploads. I'm going to click insert into beat and I'm gonna name this tracked out. Okay, so now we need to connect the files that go with the license. So where you see price assignment, I'm gonna select lease because if somebody pays $19.99, they're paying for the lease option and they get the MP3 file. So say premium gets the wave file. So what I'm gonna do is under price assignment, I'm gonna select premium. Let's say I could reorder this. And next to tracked out, I'm gonna select exclusive and the contract will be included with all the files. So just to recap, you want to select under price assignment, what file goes with what license. Let's continue adding information to this beat. So on the right side, you can add a thumbnail. I'm gonna click add an image. I'm just gonna select this image right here. I'm gonna click set featured image. And on the side, you can see different sorting options. There's beat categories, beat tags, pricing, and genre. So I'm going to say for genre, let's just say this is hip hop. 
price range. This is optional. Uh, some people like to group pricing together. Tags can be used to help identify type of instruments or mood, beat categories. Uh, people use this in different ways. So however you wanna help categorize your beats. Next, I'm gonna click publish. So I'm gonna visit my homepage and refresh the page. You can see the beat right here. I'm gonna click it. And you can see the license options here. I'm gonna click purchase and let's check out. And let's do a test payment. So I'm going to go back to the WordPress backend. I'm going to go to settings and open it up in a new tab. I'm going to click payment gateways and I'm going to click test payment. I'm going to click save changes. I'm going to refresh my checkout page and you can see a test payment option. I'm going to enter in a name. I'm going to click purchase. And this is the purchase confirmation page. So you can see that a wave file is here and you can see the contract and your customer will also receive an email with this information. So that's how you add your first beat. There's an article on the help site on how to add the other beat types. They're all pretty similar. Whenever you make your website live, make sure you turn the test payments off so people do not download your files.